Hi everyone, this is Adif and welcome to part 3 of beginner tutorial on how to get started in Slicer. Be sure to check out previous video where we had a video on Plater and importing objects. So part 3 is all about setting your printer. This is where you introduce your hardware to Slicer. So let's jump straight into the software. The fourth tab of Slicer is printer setting. You can use keyboard shortcuts such as Control 1 for Plater. Control 2 for print setting, Control 3 for filament setting, and Control 4 for printer setting. So there are three main subsettings in printer setting general, custom G code, and extruder one. As far as I know, you just set these settings once and you can forget it if you set it right way. So let's start with bit shape. Basically, bit shape is what it is suggested on specification. Of the printer so basically 200 mm cross 200 mm the origin is lower left corner if you want it to be on a center you can just avoid this values by 2 so let me tell you that if you are assembling a DIY kit for a first time it may happen that you assemble it the wrong way you get slightly lesser size than what it is said in the specification like if you hit the end stop minimum end stop you just hit the minimum end stop and you move it to the extreme right sometimes you get the size slightly lesser than the bed size it is recommended that you use the measured value rather than the bed size if you get more than the bed size it makes no sense that no printing action can be take with, takes place in this area so it is recommended to use the bed size so it means hit your x and stop minimum and stop and move it to the extreme right if it less than the bed shape use the measured value if it crosses the bed shape, use the bed value. This applies for both your Y axis and Z too. So basically practical values means what I said before. You don't want to crash your hot end anywhere in your printer. So the circular build size suggests it's a build shape for Cosell or a Delta Rostock like printer. You measure the diameter, you put it directly. The lower, uh, the origin is at the center. For a circular, you want it to be there. For a custom size bed, shaped bed I mean, I haven't seen a printer with custom shape bed. You just load a STL file. Let me take a triangular file. That's it. You got a triangular file. What you modeled. So how the 0, 0 is decided? It is basically the origin where you have modeled it. Suppose I want this origin to be on the lower left corner. You just have to model it in your modeling software at the lower left corner. Load another STL file. I'll just select another file to demonstrate you. You just got it the lower left corner so this is basically the origin where you 3d modeled it that's where the origin it sets so that's it the z offset suggests that if you have your if you don't have an adjustable end stop if you have a gap between nozzle tip and the bed even after homing your z axis the gap can be put here example you have a 3mm you just put minus 3 here the, but the slicer manual recommends to fix your hot end rather than putting a value over here so mandatorily we can just put zero here coming to the extruder capabilities it is the number of extruder handled by your printer example dual extruder you put it two here you update your both of your extruder so let's get into extruder tab the first setting is nozzle diameter this is this value you can get it from the specification because measuring a nozzle diameter is a tedious job with the regular tools such as vernier calipers or a micrometer i would suggest throwing an unknown diameter nozzle and getting a known diameter new one extruder offset is only for a multi extruder your extruder one is your primary extruder where this stays 0 comma 0 the second extruder you just put a value how much distance it is off from the primary extruder in x and y direction if your firmware is handling the extruder offset you can just leave 0 comma 0 if not you have to put your value here in the extruder tab again comes the retraction this value has worked great for me length is the amount of distance your filament will be retracted inside the hot end when it is not printing when it is rapid moving it will be retracted to this distance 4.5 millimeter this values have worked great for me lift is 0.3 mm this is basically whenever you retract you just lift your z to this distance why because you just have to break that filament 
between the part and the hot end so speed this is the speed at which this distance will be retracted 45 these values are from cura which works great for me you just have to tinker around to find your best value extra length on restart means that whenever your filament has been retracted and push it again you just have to force some more filament so that you start printing straight on minimum travel after retraction means if this the distance non printing distance is less than this distance it will not retract the non printing distance is more than this distance it will retract basically do works great basically those these two check boxes used to reduce blob if you want to retract on every layer change you just check this in if you want to while every time while retracting you can just check it in if you have multiple extruders like even if you put 10 here it will take 10 extruders basically there is a hardware limitation but if you retract on if you change retractor setting setting on every extruder the first extruder only will take place the other are like dummy only the values on the first retraction values on the first extruder is only considered so i have my one extruder in my printer so octo print upload is octo octo print is a wi-fi print host software which runs on a raspberry pi you just have to put your ip address it's recommended that you set your ip static ip in your raspberry pi and you just put it here it's another advanced topic we'll discuss it in another video g code flavor is mostly reprap marlin or repeat here the other printer firmware is also available you can just check your printer manufacturer most diy kit contains marlin or repeat here advanced topic needs another advanced video custom g code is basically start g code and end g code are very important g28 is home act you can always search in google for reprap g code because reprap wiki g code page has a very detailed information on reprap g code it also explains each and every every code supported in each and every firmware this is the best way to learn reprap hardware and project so i'll always suggest people to go check out reprap g code you have to just in the start g code you just have to start home all axis and just have to extrude some filament lift your z so that it does not crash on any if a clip or anything the end g code is basically you just have to turn off extruder hotbed you just have to disable your steppers and you just home your x axis the layer change g code runs every time between layer changing the dual chain g code runs swapping between each extruders this is it until now be sure to check my next video where we will cover about filament setting if you want me to cover something specific on slicer please let me know in the comments below and i hope to see you next time